Hey everyone, this is Two Huge Transplanted. Hello everyone. Today's video is a collaboration video that will take place over the next three weeks, the three weeks leading up until Valentine's Day. It is a collaboration that involves some lovely, awesome ladies, some fellow YouTubers who many of you are probably already subscribed to, but there may be a couple of you that some of these YouTubers are new to. So we encourage you to check out their channels. They will be in the description box below. And we know that you will enjoy their channels and will not be disappointed that you visited their channel. So the, this first week, this collaboration will be a DIY Valentine home decor item. And as with all of the videos in this series, all the items that will be made will be under $10. The budget for each one is under $10, so none of them will be too expensive for anyone to be able to make. It's all affordable, and that's what we wanted it that way so that, that it, it just makes it a lot more fun and, and where everyone can join in and enjoy it. So we appreciate you guys stopping by, and if you want to see what we came up with for this very first week of the collaboration, please stick around. For this project, you will need liquid starch. This is a Stay Full brand, but any brand will do. You need a bunch of roses from the Dollar Tree and these came with the little styrofoam hearts that are glittered and then we also got an extra set of baby's breath. You'll need a spool of this crochet thread and we got this from Walmart. This was about I believe under three dollars. You'll need some, some type of embellishment ribbon and we got these little white dots You'll need a little bit larger ribbon, and we got this silver ribbon from the 99 cents only store. And you, the main part of the project is this red balloon, this heart balloon. You will need a latex heart balloon, and we just got ours from our local grocery store for 25 cents. And we just asked the floral department, and they gave it to us for 25 cents. So that is the list of items you will need for this project, and stay tuned. Alright guys, step one is to inflate the heart balloon. The next step is to take your liquid starch and pour about two cups into a bowl. Then add your crochet thread. Now you could add it in, in little segments at a time where you don't have to immerse the whole spool, but we find this way is a lot easier and a lot cleaner because as you can see from our board we tried doing it in segments and it was a lot messier because the string was flying everywhere. If you keep it on the spool it's a lot more neat and you have a, a lot less of the, of the starch going anywhere. It stays mostly in the bowl and on the balloon rather than on your surface. So what we're doing now is we're taking the crochet thread and we're just find a starting point right here by where the balloon is tied off at and that's where you begin your string and you begin right there so that you can hold that in so that you have it's you know caught and you don't have to worry about it going anywhere while you're wrapping. Then you're going to take your crochet thread and just wrap it around your balloon. Diagonal, vertical. Keep wrapping until the whole thing is covered. Yeah, you just in all directions. And it's going to wind up looking like that and you're going to get you want to fill the whole balloon. The entire balloon has to be filled and you want to leave a space either at the bottom or at the top where you can pull this balloon out because once you get it completely wrapped and it's completely dry you're going to want to pop your balloon and you're going to have to get your balloon out so you need a little bit of a, of a space to retrieve your balloon so just keep wrapping guys and we'll be right back alright gang we're back this time the heart is completely covered with the crochet thread we used a whole roll and the next step is to leave it dry, preferably overnight. You can hang it in a shower stall. That's probably the best place to do it. And um, just leave it dry. We took the tighter thread, made it tighter than... than. It's more of a tighter weave because we used the entire spool. Now, if you only use half of a spool or... or less than the whole roll you're gonna the less thread you use the more open airy look you're gonna get of it but we wanted this more tighter weave look it it, it looks more of like a, a twine look so 
this is what it looks a like. A grapevine look. Yeah. That's what we meant. So this is what it looks like right now. And once this dries completely, we're going to pop this balloon on the inside. This should be a hard shell then. And you're going to pull the balloon out. And we left, since this little piece is sticking out, you could just pull it right out the bottom. You don't have to pull it from the top or anything. It would be an easier way to just pull it right from the bottom. And it should come right out after it's completely dry, but that's why you have to make sure that it is completely dry before you pull your balloon out or it will collapse. So we'll allow it's this to dry overnight and then we'll be back, guys. Okay, so this has been drying overnight and as you can see, it is very hard. It dried very, very hard, which is really good. So now we're going to go ahead and pop this, but we're going to do it off of camera because we don't want to scare anybody from the loud pop. So we'll be right back. All right, so we popped our balloon, and here's the pop piece that we pulled out. And so now we're left with this empty shell. And we're going to get our supplies together to finish it off. To finish this hard off and to decorate it. So we'll be right back with that. Okay, so we had our little bouquet of uh, pink and white roses from the Dollar Tree, the ones that came with the styrofoam hearts. We cut those loose and then we glued them together with the hot glue in a way that made like a curve. So that the hot glue gun. With the hot glue gun, yeah. <laughs> in a way that looked, made like a curve so that it can follow the formation of the heart, of the curve of the heart. So once we put this on there, it should follow the shape of the heart and, and accent it like that. And then we also made a bow and glued one of the styrofoam hearts from the bouquet on, into the middle of the little bow we made from the silver ribbon that we had that we showed you in the beginning of the video. And we're going to glue that on to the front of the heart and then we'll show you guys the finished product. Just a quick side note guys, when you make your string heart Please be sure to reserve about 24 inches of string for the final project so that you can hang it from the ceiling using this string. We did not remember to do that and so now we have to use this pink thread that we found and we're just going to double up on this pink thread to make it as thick as the crochet thread would have been. But save yourself a little bit of time and frustration and just save, you, <laughs> save about 24 inches of the string. Uh, when you're wrapping your heart balloon. Don't use all of it. Reserve about 24 inches. Okay, everybody, this is our finished product. It's beautiful. We're so happy with it. We hope you are too. It's our Valentine String Art Heart, and we're pleased with the way it came out, and we hope that you like this project and that you'll give it a try yourself. It's under $10 to make, as are all of the videos in this collaboration from everyone. And we encourage you to check out all of the lovely ladies, lovely talented ladies in the description box below. You will not be disappointed with their videos or their channels. And we thank everyone involved in this collaboration. And we hope that you really like this, this project. It was really fun and easy to make. and It's a little messy, but it's worth every minute of it. Yes, it is. Because the finished product is just worth all of the, the little bit of mess that, what, that was involved. Once we figured out how to get, keep the string from splattering by keeping it on the roll and not cutting it into pieces, it was a much easier, cleaner project. So keep that in mind when you try this for yourself. And as you can see, the string is, even, is barely even noticeable from the ceiling. It just looks like a floating heart. So we thank you guys for watching, and remember in this world of chaos, confusion, and heartache, God is always with you. And if you're going to pray, don't worry. And if you're going to worry, don't pray. Check back here, guys, next Friday for another DIY in the series. Bye, as, guys. as well as the other ladies' channels. Thanks, guys. Happy Valentine's Day.